Have you ever thought about starting your own online business? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the top online business that you should pick that's going to allow you to make the most money while having the greatest time. So what's going on, guys? It's Josiah, your success consultant. And in today's video, I'm going to break down exactly what type of online business that you should create. So if this is your very first time watching or you've yet to do so, please click below to subscribe because there's no other place that you're going to find that's going to be more dedicated to helping black men become as successful as possible. So if you watch some of my previous videos, I've talked to you about the significance of having your very own online business. Some of you guys have probably seen me traveling to different places overseas. I did a video where I was in London Heathrow Airport and I was telling you guys about how even though I was traveling all over the world, I was making money all at the same time. See, traditionally, when you look at people online and you see them traveling, you see them going on vacation, you see them doing this and doing that, oftentimes you think that they're doing that in exchange for missing out on money, right? Losing out on funds. But some of us have created a system that will allow us to make money regardless of our location. Some of us have come up with ways to make money regardless of how much time investment we were actually dedicated to running our business right at that present moment, okay? So today's video is all about which online business should you start, okay? That's what this video is all about. So I want to give you guys a big secret because right now you're ready for me to stop talking and you're ready for me to talk about, oh, well, you know, maybe you should sell, you know, shirts online. Maybe you should sell, uh, do have some type of drop shipping online website. Maybe you should have an Etsy store where you're selling jewelry. Maybe you should have a Shopify page where you're selling all type of other merchandise. It's not about picking a whole host of online businesses. That's one of the biggest myths that most beginning entrepreneurs get wrong. See, what happens a lot of times is you look online, whether it be on a Facebook ad, a YouTube ad, you see different people making money. And immediately, instantly, once you start to see them make money, you start to think, well, man, I could do the same exact thing. And you might not have any background or any experience whatsoever doing the things that they're doing, but you want to jump into it because you see money getting made. Okay. I want to let you in on a really big secret. In this day and age, you can practically make money online doing just about anything. You know, there's a whole host of different businesses that are available on the web today that are making money in ways never thought of before. You got guys making millions of dollars, you know, uh, who are cat lovers and they're promoting, you know, cat type of brands selling cat shirts, doing all types of different things. You got people that love camping and they get paid to talk about their camping experiences. You have all types of people making money in ways that you never thought possible based upon things that are their passion and things that gel with their own lifestyle, okay? So the first thing that I want you to really think about is asking which online business should I start? Is it really the right question to ask? So today I'm going to show you the most important question that you can ask yourself personally in order for you to run a successful online business. Again, if you want to make decent money, you can just hop into any market. You don't have to know anything about it. You can just pop in and you can just see how that pans out. And I'm definitely not giving you any guarantees on how things are going to go in that area. And you could invest a lot of money. You can invest a lot of time, but there's no guarantee how successful you will be or if you would even enjoy it. Right? So instead of taking things from that approach, you know, should I be an online personality? Should I do affiliate marketing? Should I be a blogger? Right? Instead of having that thought 
process. Here's what you need to do instead. I want to break this down into four quadrants, okay? And this is one of the most important videos that you will ever watch when it comes to starting up an online business, okay? If you want to be successful starting an online business, you must get these quadrants down, okay? So I'm just going to call this, right, the four corners of success, okay? Now, when you're getting this four corners of success down, it starts with this. First, you have to ask yourself, what is your personality? Okay, now why is this important? The reason why understanding your personality is important is because of the fact that if you try to hop into a business, that's not suited around your natural personality type is going to be hard for you to be dominant in that industry. You know, you might be looking at certain guys online that are making a lot of money and that's because they're great sellers and maybe they're really extroverted people. But you might be looking at them and you might be a super introverted person thinking that you can do exactly what they do but it's gonna be very painful for you to market like them because they're always in front of a camera, right? So really what the goal behind getting successful in an online business is, is doing and monetizing off of something that is based around your own set of strengths, okay? I'm gonna say that again, okay? Don't think that there's just like this cookie cutter zero sum game where if you're only in a select number of businesses, that's the only way that you can make money. Trust what I'm saying today. People are online right now, this very moment, making money doing a whole host of things. You got people online that are selling books. You got people online that are selling courses. You got people online that are selling toys. You have got people online that are just looking to get into relationships. There's a whole multitude of ways. The opportunities are endless. This is the most opportune time in history to ever start a business. So rather than just looking at what other people are doing, it'd be so much more profitable for you to build a business around what actually suits you. We're going to take who you are and we're going to turn it into a business, okay? So first you want to start at your personality, right? So are you an introvert or are you an extrovert, okay? Again, this is it, very important. So again, let's say that you're an extrovert and you happen to know a person personally that's making a lot of money online, but they're doing a lot of technical things. So maybe their face isn't on it. Maybe they're just doing something that's based upon coding. Maybe some type of back-end, you know, technical programming process where, you know, it doesn't come with a lot of praise and fame and recognition, but they're good at what they do behind the scenes and they know how to be able to monetize it, right? So maybe they've built some type of automated system that they get paid to sell Maybe they have designed some type of software. Maybe they've come up with different things that you're looking at and you might be having a little bit of curiosity or even envy because you see them making money. But at the end of the day, you're not that type of introverted person, okay? So it's important that we start here first to understand where these two roads can take us. If you are an introverted person, then that means that you need to have an online business that's more suited to you being able to make money without you always needing to interact with other people. You know, I'm going to give you an example of something uh, that I had to recognize myself as I began building and scaling my very own business. So in this online world of, you know, making money from the comfort of my own home, I started uh, two different types of 
products and services, okay? So I had one online course, which was pretty much its own self-sustaining business. It just taught people about how to be able to uh, get better jobs. It taught people about how to be able to make more money. It taught people about how to be more productive. And it taught people about how to be healthier. I created a course that was known as the Undisputed Success System, okay? But then I came out with a service that pretty much did the exact same thing, and that was a membership club. Now, the benefit of taking the course route was you had lifetime access to it, all you had to do was get in, and then you just had it as long as you wanted it. But then when it came to the membership club, right, which I'm still doing now, which is known as your breakthrough year, I work with you personally every single week, oftentimes on a day-to-day -day basis to help you become successful, right? So there's two key distinctions that I notice in the course that I created versus the club that I created. See, the course that I created, it can run on its own. So as an introvert, I really like that because that means that I can work on something at one point in time and really go all in on it. And I really don't have to have that much engagement with the customers, right? A lot of times, if you've ever been in a business, you know that a lot of times one of the biggest challenges can be customer services because people got a lot of demands, it's obviously something that takes time to fill those demands and you're having to figure out how can you manage that against a host of other things in your company that's craving for your attention. Because even outside of the customer service piece, you still got to do marketing. You still got to manage your staff. You still got to develop new products and services or build up your existing ones. You got all these other areas to focus on, but you can't shortchange your customers if you're serious about providing customers with a great experience, right? So again, that course was excellent for the occasion of being an introvert. Now, when it comes to doing my membership club, I love to be able to connect with people. I love to be able to change lives. But the truth of the matter is there's a lot more housekeeping that's associated with it. I'm liable to wake up any given week and I'm responding to, you know, Facebook messages, emails, DMs. It takes a lot more effort for me to be able to keep and maintain that exact same customer that I would have otherwise had just charged an initial rate just going through a course and then I was done with it, right? So one of the things that I had to learn as an introvert was to be able to maintain something like that it expends a lot more energy and effort. So if you're a person that is like a hardcore introvert, you don't find yourself being somewhat in the middle ground of being able to be a little bit more reserved, but you know how to be able to speak to people. If you're a super introvert, then of course I would tell you to err more on the side of creating something that you could just build one time and then it's the gift that keeps on giving. You don't really have to turn back to it. If you're more of an extroverted person, well, then you'll want to make money in being able to create communities with people, selling to people, engaging with people. And that's the reason why this step is so important. You miss this one step and go wrong on this, you will be creating a nightmare for yourself because you're going to invest your time and money and effort and energy into something that's not aligned with your personality, which... Honestly, if I'm being really truthful with you, is no different than maybe working a nine to five job that you're working right now, right? The whole reason why you want to get outside of a nine to five job is because of the fact that it's not aligned with your personality. You're doing things that you don't really like. You're being around people that you don't really, you know, particularly care for. You don't particularly want to be with. You know, by you stepping into this online business, you're literally able to rewrite the rules of how you make money. So this alone becomes something that is very important, okay? So the next thing that I would tell you to do is what is define 
your natural strengths. Okay? This is very important. This is what's going on in this second quadrant or second corner. Okay? So here, as we've talked about your personality and how the difference between you picking an outgoing type of a business versus you picking an introverted type of business can make all the difference. Guess what? If you're going to be successful in any business, it needs to be able to cater to your natural strengths in order for you to make the most money doing it. Now, again, you know, as this video begins to get more exposure, since you're sharing it with friends and they're watching it, they're going to try to debunk one of these critical points because they'll say, oh, well, you know, I got this friend and they're making money doing this and they don't even care about doing it. They didn't even know anything about doing it, but yet they're making money. OK, yes, you can make decent money doing things that you really don't care about at all, doing things that you don't have a world of experience at doing at all. Right. But again, what do world class people do? World class people are world class because they've dedicated 10,000 plus hours into something that was more suited towards their strengths. Right. Maybe one of the reasons why you're not getting paid what you want to get paid right now is because you're working a job that's not actually suited to your strength and therefore you're not able to get paid what you're worth. So here's the part where you got to actually look at yourself and say, OK, well, what are some of my natural strengths? Right. What are some of the things that when I look at this, I can say, you know what? This is more so suited to what works for me. I'll give you a prime example of what that looks like for me personally. I am a good speaker naturally, right? And I'm not saying that in any type of a proud way. I'm just telling you what comes more natural to me, right? I've been speaking in front of large audiences of people since I've been five years old. So for me, what I would do is I would say, OK, maybe I'm more introverted by nature, but I could kind of play things both ways when I need to. And I also have the ability to do public speaking. OK, so is it any surprise that I would leave my job in corporate America and I would build a business surrounding public speaking? Now, maybe I'm not the most vocal guy that's on the planet Earth and not all of my products and services are surrounding being in front of people's faces 24 hours a day, being a pure extrovert. But I'm building a business model where as an introvert, I can step in when I want to and I can step out when I want to and money is still getting made. I can talk when I have something to say. I can deliver something of substance. And I'm going to be paid based upon the skill of public speaking. For me, that's a natural strength. OK, so you've got to be able to list out the exact same thing. Write out the things that you have that you are naturally good at. And if you want help on this, this is going to segue um, to something else that I think is very important as a part of this natural strength piece. Begin to start communicating with other people so that way they can give you feedback analysis on the things that they see that you're good at. See, it's not enough that you should just go through this assessment by yourself. You know, you can kind of identify maybe your personality. I hope that you're stable enough in your life to actually know whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, be, being real with yourself. But then also what you need to do is you need to be real when it comes to your natural strength. So don't just look at the things that you think you're good at doing. Start to ask the closest people that are around you, right? Start to speak with the top five people that are in your life and ask them questions about, hey, man, well, what do you think I'm good at? What do you think that I have as a top skill? And don't go into that exercise with judgment. All you need to be doing is documenting what they're saying to you, okay? Because if you think that you're good at something, but nobody else is telling you that you're good at something, 
that's going to create a tremendous business problem because nobody's going to be compensating you based upon what you want to do or what you think that you're good at doing. The world is going to compensate you based upon your level of skill. Are you actually good in the real world at what you're bringing forth? Okay. So this part, this natural strengths slash what other people are telling me in my immediate circle, this is really important as well, right? And a lot of people, they don't make as much money as they could make and they don't live as much of a great lifestyle as they could live because they're stepping outside of their personality to do something that's not even their strength. And anytime that you do that, is going to feel like work, is going to feel emotionally taxing. When I'm doing this video right now, it doesn't really feel like work. And I can tell you that in all sincerity because these are things that I would be telling to my friends even if I wasn't getting paid for, right? This is a free YouTube video. So y'all are not paying to watch this content. I'm giving it to you for free and it comes across naturally because this is a message that I would want to share even in my sleep, right? So that's what gets me going. You got to know what gets you going, okay? So this third quadrant right here, this is another important one. What you need to answer in this third quadrant is, um, what do you like, okay? So I'm going to put here what I like to do, okay? Now, why is this important? Notice how all of these build off of each other. So when we were first talking about this personality piece, we got some traction there. We talked about the natural strengths. Now when it comes to what I like to do, this one is important as well because there may be certain things that you have a strength at doing that fits your personality, but honestly, you hate it, right? And if it's something that you hate to do, even though you may be good at doing it, it's going to be hard to find the willpower every single day to be consistent enough at working at it to the point where you become a success. Remember this, all overnight successes really required 15 years behind the scenes. You look at anybody that you feel is on the rise, you see their life blowing up, Chances are they didn't just start whatever it is that they're doing yesterday. They've been working at it for a very long time, right? Even when it comes to this video, you might be seeing these videos uploaded today, but these are concepts and thoughts that I've privately held for a number of years. My ability to be able to go out and speak to people is a raw skill that I've had for a number of years. And it's something that I like to do. In fact, one of the most depressing things that really, um, you know, it got to the best of me when I was working in corporate America was the fact that I was spending all of my weeks and months and years sitting behind a cubicle desk, just staring at a computer screen. You know, as I'm doing this type of IT related work, it's making me money, but I don't feel like I'm having a lot of impact. I don't feel like I'm changing lives. I don't feel like I'm able to actually connect with people and do something meaningful at the end of the day. So even though I'm doing it by a trade, it's not necessarily something that I like to do. Okay. Now, what I did like to do was be on a computer. So again, right here, I'm putting in for myself, you know, I like to be online, right? A lot of you guys like to use computers. You like to surf the web. You like to be on social media. You like what you like, okay? The important part behind this exercise is not that you're trying to replicate the life of somebody else because you're never going to be a better version of someone else than themselves. You can only be the best version of who you are. So even as you, you know, look at this video, you might be looking and everything that I'm saying when it comes to my own personality style, it could be totally opposite from yours 
even though you may admire or appreciate the information that I have to share. So you might be taking, you know, the four corners of success down and might be saying, man, this is going to be a really helpful video for me to actually start an online business that works for me particularly. But you might be looking at this and say, I got to do the opposite of what Uzziah does in order for me to feel like I can do something that I'm actually going to, you know, be profitable from, be good at doing. So if I'm introverted, you might be totally extroverted. If I'm good at public speaking, even though you're a super extrovert, you might not uh, have a thing for speaking in front of large audiences. Maybe you want to connect with people in a different way, right? Maybe it's instant messaging. Who knows? What I like to do is be online. Maybe you like to spur up a lot of interactions with people in person. Whatever works for you, do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to start taking these things and we're going to start meshing them together as we build a business. Okay. So again, this third point is important because when you think about what you like to do, doing the things that you like to do is what's going to help get you out of bed every day to do it with ease. You know, if you can't stand what you do, you're going to wake up every single day depressed, angry, uh, tired, fatigued, right? And it's going to suffer in your working performance when it comes to getting something done. There might be certain things that you might be in love with doing. Follow what I'm saying here. You might be in love with playing basketball. You might be in love with cooking. But once you attempt to try to make a business out of it, right? you might realize that it's not something that you actually would enjoy doing every single day. There may be certain things in your life that could come as a hobby to you. And as you have that hobby, it means one thing when you're just doing something once a month or once every few weeks, but the nature of business is a daily sport, right? And so that's the reason why I'm putting here what you like to do rather than what you love to do. See, when it comes to being able to help people become successful, it's not actually something that I am just super in love with like other passions that are short-lived, but I really like to do it. I love the results that people get. I love when people actually apply the information and it actually helps them in their life, but I really like to do it more than I love to do it because it's something that I'm able to do with enjoyment every single day, right? It's not just this, you know, fly by night romance where my love for it is here today and gone tomorrow. No, this is something that I could literally dedicate my entire life doing because of the fact that I like it that much. I could do it in my sleep. I could do it when I'm out for lunch. I could do it when I'm on vacation. I could do it wherever. It's something that I like to do. And that's the reason why I build a business behind it because the nature of business is daily consistent results. So I'm tying a daily consistent effort to something that comes easy for me to do in a daily basis, okay? Last and final thing, all right? And hopefully by now, You've already gotten into my free Empire Builder, which is totally free. It's in the description below. I'm actually showing you in that Empire Builder how to be able to build your empire from scratch, regardless of whether you have a business right now or not, regardless of, you know, if you're in a nine to five job right now or not, I'm taking you from wherever you're at and I'm helping you build your very own empire step by step. And as you can see, my job in building this channel of black men's careers is not to force feed you a life that you don't want, right? Because you've already gone through that process with family, with friends, with career counselors, telling you what you need to be doing rather than taking the time to actually assess, well, what is it that you are actually gifted in doing and what is it that you like to do? See, I'm giving you the skeleton on this but you're gonna actually fill the meat in, okay? 
Um, so the last and final piece that I would add to these four corners of success is what have you been doing? This is very important. You know, again, I get a lot of people that ask me questions about areas um, of business that they know absolutely nothing about, right? So one day, you know, you see a lot of people making money through Forex trading, and they ask me about Forex. One day, you see people talking about investing in gold, and then people want to know about gold. You see people talking about, you know, um, you know, real estate, um, social media marketing, all of these different things, right? A lot of things in life can kind of come across as somewhat of a fad or a shiny, like hip thing to do for the moment, but you're never going to be good at something if you don't know anything about it. And at the same time, you have a much better advantage being good at something that you've already done because you've already developed muscle memory, right? You've already built in what uh, neuroscientists would call myelin in the brain. Myelin meaning whatever you have spent a lot of time doing, your brain has become so masterful at doing it on a certain level that you literally outthink other people when it comes to doing it. Like if you were to think about Wayne Gretzky in hockey, one of the things that he said as a quote was, when everybody else skates to where the puck is at, I skate to where the puck is going. He had so much muscle memory developed around the, the sport of hockey that he knew how the game was gonna play itself out before moves even got made, right? And so, it would be ridiculous to take Wayne Gretzky and be like, okay, now I'm going to turn you into this, you know, full-time author. Now I'm going to turn you into a public speaker. Now I'm going to make you a real estate agent. Well, there's no need to put him in those different environments because his environment is already clear. If he's already been good at doing hockey, put him in that hockey environment. So what you need to be asking yourself is, what have I been doing already over a number of years, right? So if you've already been cooking over a number of years, how can you take it and turn it into a business? Maybe you could be teaching other people how to cook. Maybe you can be coming up with your own little mini mobile restaurant. There's so many opportunities that are available to you outside of the traditional brick and mortar that it's almost ridiculous how much you could do just through the web, right? So now it's up to you to look at these four corners and say, okay, when I bring these four corners together, what does it mean for me, right? So I'm going to give you, a, again, a prime example. For someone like me, right, personally, I'm a naturally introverted person that has a smaller circle of very deep relationships with people and I know how to speak to others when it counts. So I build a business that specializes in creating very deep relationships with people. In this Black Men's Career Channel, you're going on a journey. You're literally able to watch your life change from the time that you're subscribed to this channel. And so this becomes my business model, right? I wouldn't want to become like just this full-time salesman that sells something that I just don't care about because I would wake up every single day feeling drained. I wouldn't get into an industry that I just have zero experience doing anything remotely related to the industry because that means I'm having to start off as a beginner. I'm having to start off as a rookie. And even though, you know, there's nothing wrong with learning new things, you already have a competitive advantage when you're able to capitalize in areas where you're already skilled. See, what I'm trying to convey to you guys is just because you're stepping into the environment of online business, there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. You can take 
the person that you already are, with the strengths that you already have, doing what you like to do, building on the skills that you've already gotten down. And you can just put that online. You can package it into a business. And guess what? There's already going to be a community of people waiting for you to share your gift with the world. How do I know that? Because you're seeing it with me, right? I'm taking the things that are already naturally suited to me, being more introverted, although I can publicly speak, being online, right? Liking to use a computer and I'm using it to my benefit to make money from home. This is my type of environment. Maybe you like to make money in other places. And I'm doing what I have been doing. What have I been doing the past few years? Well, years ago, I paid off $95,000 of student loan debt. Years ago, I became a real estate investor, right? Years ago, I started really getting full time into the game of very strong financial management. So I take all of those things and I put it into my business and I share it with other people all over the world and that's how I'm able to make money. So what I want you to do out of today's video is I want you to go through this exercise for yourself. Again, this is gonna be one of the most foundational videos that you're ever going to watch when it comes to starting an online business, right? Should have charged y'all for this. This is how critical this is. A lot of people would have charged big money just to go through the exercise that we were talking about today. Go through this exercise, be honest with yourself in every quadrant, and then take some personal time just to simply brainstorm how you could put these four quadrants together in starting your very own business, right? So for some of you guys, you're gonna walk away and say, you know what? I like to be a creator of things. So I'm gonna create my own online product. Maybe I'm gonna create a physical product that I'm gonna sell online. Or you know, maybe I'm gonna create my own service. Maybe it's an online service, maybe it's an in-person service, but the business happens to get done online. And then you can always research in YouTube and Google people that are doing businesses like yours. And then you can study from other people that are successful at it. Well, how is it that they're able to do what they're doing, right? Or maybe you're not so much the creator type. Maybe you're a person that likes to talk about the things that other people are doing, right? So maybe you can be an affiliate of other products. You got people making a lot of money, you know, off of Amazon right? They just put products of, of things that are on Amazon that they already like. They share it with friends. They have an affiliate link and they're making money, right? They have online products that they like in other websites and those websites have affiliate programs. There's a ton of different websites that have affiliate programs. So if you're the person that's like, you like to do a lot of um, reviews on things, reviews on products, and you like to tell all your friends about it, right? If you're wired in that type of a way, well then do the affiliate thing, right? If you like to, you know, make a fashion statement and you're really good when it comes to being able to pick out clothes, you can do that online as well. There's so many different things that you can do online. Don't pigeonhole yourself by just looking at, you know, what this person is doing in this Facebook ad or what that person is doing on that social media post. Focus on going through what we went through today. And I guarantee you that if you go through that today, you're going to feel a lot more fulfilled because you're going to do something that can not only help make you a lot of money, but it can also allow you to live life on your own terms rather than just hustling at something that, you know, is just kind of whatever for you that you don't care about that doesn't you know, make any difference in your life whatsoever. Now you're doing something that matters. So it's a win-win. Okay. So please make sure that you get that uh, empire builder by clicking below. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you share this video. 
show your family and friends how to be able to do this because we're going to be having other videos where I'll be able to share with you how to build off of this. I want to give a shout out to Brandon Bailey who inspired me to do this video. He gave me the suggestion on coming up with this video just for you. So if there's other videos that you want me to talk about, leave me a comment below. Tell me the video that you want me to write uh, and discuss and record just for you and I'll be able to make it on the next video. All right. See you guys on the next episode. Take care.